I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. I'm just going to take the time to talk about a lovely feature that is the moat surrounding our chateau here that you see in all the videos and the drone footage. It's a lovely feature and a bit more in depth of the aeration system and where we think we'd like to put it. So the aeration system uh, would improve the quality of the water. At the moment, as you can see, it's lovely and clear and there's really no algae surface on top of the uh, water. But when it comes to summertime, there's quite a lot of basically green surface, uh, which is the algae. And this is caused by all the trees that fall down and simply fill up inside this moat, which is why we always say we've got the uh, greenery of the trees the leaves they literally compile and that is our biggest problem here and for centuries there have been and essentially the moat does need uh, dredging but it's just such a huge uh, work and will require so much money but the most important thing to start with to make progress is improve the quality of the water because we've got carp in there which are basically you see our fountain our fish fountain here is the representation of what kind of fish we have. Those are indeed carp fish. Obviously, they are not as big as this. They are about half the size, but they're still pretty big. And they roam here and they do help to clear the moat. And as you can see, we've got the wildlife, which is the ducks over here. These are ones that we have here. We also have a lot of uh, wild ducks here and we've got obviously a kingfisher so birds that eat the fish all various fish in there i've actually just saw some fish playing about uh with the um, water streams i think they're chasing food underneath i mean there's lots of wildlife here that brings and keeps the green green so there is lots of benefits to water because everything comes back to having a little drink when they need to including these little feral cats that we have roaming around here they are great little mousers and well moral support they are just very cute improving the moat quality here would be so beautiful because there will be absolute clear reflection in the water the water will be clear rather than cloudy brown green uh, like it is now but even so it gets worse in the summertime the current condition of the water with all its leaves that do fall down means that it's incredibly silted up and as you can see over there for example when branches fall down you can really see them uh, on top of the above the surface because it's just simply that shallow here's another easy example of a branch that has fallen down from what is an unhealthy tree and obviously landed right there and you can see it's literally on the surface so it's literally that shallow which isn't really obviously healthy at all for uh well bacteria thrives in the summertime but it's not healthy for anything else especially the fish uh, and obviously we want the wildlife to come as much as possible here because we have some amazing uh, birds and herons as well fly about and nest up in the trees if we improve the water quality we'll be able to see through the water uh, a lot deeper than we currently can and over here you can see right over here there are stones and these are the retaining wall for this moat and we've got plenty to rebuild i mean that is just one good example and they're all there we'll be able to get in and dig up and well that will be another project but think aeration system first to make progress 
Back in the summertime, we had announced in one of our videos about the aeration system and begun our fund to collect it. It was set at an estimate of around $2,000, but as I say, it was an estimate. And actually, as the final figures went through the months as we were exploring the best system for this place, it went up uh, uh, to just about $3,000 that's converted, obviously. We are purchasing it from UK and it has been a good system designed for this size moat. Uh, it's about to one hectare of water here surrounding and obviously I'm just gonna go through and show you what the final system we had uh, come up with and where it will be installed because that is the key component to making the system work and it's quite an interesting one and the story of the installation will begin right over here now underneath the bridge we have an old pump uh, right over there by uh, by the door you can see right there so that means there is electrical supply and well and uh, a cage that holds up that pump but it's not in use at all whatsoever so we're gonna place the aeration box there that will have pumps various pumps and obviously it will feed the electric of there that's nice and easy and then we've got piping to go all along and uh, around the the chateau so that will be on one side and obviously similar going all the way around and going all the way around the moat um, altogether. Now these pipes, we decided to, we want them to run uh, basically in line with water, if not just under, and they will be secured to the um, uh, fabric of the building. The other solution was to run it all along uh, outside of the um, surround moat walls but i think that'll just take a lot of meters of the pipe and it'll basically cost a lot more money which isn't really a uh, great use of uh, funds to be honest once the pipe is all attached all along the chateau all the way over there we've got a width of uh, let's say about four meters of the moat right we're gonna have a pipe coming out from the main pipe so we're going to have diffusers and they will meet halfway down the moat here and that's where the aeration uh, uh well diffuser will be set so you're gonna see basically air bubbles coming out here which will not only turn the water the temperature and the leaves which means they will start to break down because the temperature will be equal everywhere and well there'll be circulation and this is the technical bit that i've looked into the chateau inner land seems to run about 20 meters that way and 20 meters that way and basically every corner is 20 meters so i've decided to install the diffusers every 10 meters apart so there'll be one underneath that bridge one on this corner one in an well pretty much uh, underneath that bridge and then one at the end of the terrace and basically all around the chateau like that every 10 meters so it will be nice and equal um aeration going through now for the open and more bigger areas of the moat such as this just on the east side of the chateau we are going to have a longer pipe coming out to reach as much as possible into the middle of the moat and again the diffuser aeration will be right in there so i suspect you'll see a lot of ducks hanging around it and a lot of fish hanging around it when it comes to spring and summertime this over here is where our water comes in and it's at its most shallowest it is located west of our garden right at the back of the chateau and as you can see this is how the water goes in and goes into well the surrounding of the moat around the chateau we are not going to have aeration system here and that's simply because the most immediate areas required are the most stagnant and that's around the chateau here as it's so shallow it definitely needs dredging but that's another project for another day and well that can be a future project that can be planned a little bit better as we get closer to summertime. I'd like to thank all of you who have contributed to our aeration system in from our last video which is just incredible support thank you ever so much and we are really really close to placing an order on that and then hopefully going to get it from the UK and installing it now install sounds like it should be a breeze but I think it's going to be a lot of um, swimming in the moat falling in the moat for sure and basically mm, looking rather nasty in waders and well I'm sure we'll come across some kind of problems but hopefully Hopefully we'll overcome them. 
I'm so looking forward to it. I'm sure all of you are as well. And this place will be blooming by the time, obviously, it's getting installed, which spring is around the corner, all I can say. And we're very much looking forward to it. And again, I'd like to say thank you ever so much from yesterday's video. If you'd like to contribute to that fund as we're almost hitting that goal, uh, do head over to uh, buyusacoffee.com forward slash Chateau Life and the goal fund is there. And hopefully we'll have an update soon, as soon as we hit that um, goal and place an order as well. One problem area I already see and know about, which will be a something we'll need to tackle with uh, this uh, sprint just before the aeration system installation is this tree. Now it used to be arched, it used to be really, really cute. And every year it, used, it gets lower and lower and lower. And well, now this year it just simply has to come out because well, there'll be aeration point here and then one will be right there where the tree is uh, sort of thing. So it definitely has to come out because thereafterwards it continues further down. I basically need the aeration system to go all the way around the chateau. And with this tree in the way, it's going to be rather impossible. So that's another huge project task ahead just to install the aeration system. The aeration system is going to be an electric one, not solar powered, sadly, because the panels are just so huge and they require guaranteed uh, light. And with all these trees here, as you can tell, there is no guarantee of sunlight. So we had to go for the normal old fashioned electric plug in system. The system will breathe much needed life and, of course, oxygen back into the water. If you want to help us hit this goal and bring a helping hand to nature here by visiting the links in the video description below.